In a recent development sparking widespread controversy, opposition leader advocate Nelson Chamisa has strongly criticized President Emerson Mnangagwa's administration for the denial of bail to Jameson Timba and fellow opposition members. The group was detained following their organization of an event commemorating the Day of the African Child. The incident has drawn sharp condemnation from Chamisa, who voiced his concerns about the erosion of judicial independence under the current regime. In a poignant statement released on Saturday, Chamisa articulated his stance. The courts as guarantors of rights and liberties. The courts are the custodians, guardians and guarantors of justice. The last bastion of our collective dignity and sanity. Courts are entrusted to uphold fundamental rights and freedoms. When they lose their independence and professionalism, they inevitably fail and fall short in this duty. And when they do so, they inadvertently surrender the frontiers of justice, rights and fundamental freedoms to beasts who cannibalize the innocent and feast on citizens' liberties. The right to bail is one fundamental right that must never be compromised, negated or undermined. We will fix all this in no time. Hashtag new dawn hashtag for everyone. Chamisa's words underscored the gravity of the situation emphasizing the importance of upholding constitutional rights, including the right to bail. He criticized what he perceives as an encroachment on judicial integrity, arguing that such actions undermine justice and erode the foundation of democratic principles. The denial of bail to political activists like James Timba has sparked protests and calls for reform within Zimbabwe, with many accusing the government of using legal means to suppress dissenting voices. The incident has once again brought international attention to Zimbabwe's human rights record, prompting calls for Umingagwa's administration to uphold the rule of law and respect fundamental freedoms. As the political landscape in Zimbabwe continues to evolve, Chamisa's outspoken stance against perceived injustices reflects a broader sentiment among opposition circles and civil society advocates. His vow to fix all this in no time signals a commitment to challenging what he views as a systemic undermining of democratic institutions. The unfolding events surrounding the denial of bail to Timba and his colleagues serve as a stark reminder of the challenges facing Zimbabwe's democratic journey. As calls for justice grow louder, the spotlight remains on Umingadwa's government to address concerns over civil liberties and ensure a fair and transparent judicial process for all citizens.